Hey guys, it's Logan Works. This is season 3, episode 15 of Lucifer. Here we go. You ready? Are you ready? Lucifer? To rumble! Lucifer? What is happening? Lucifer! But we have a case. Something's happened. Please leave. Wait, what's happened? Are you okay? I can't. I can't make them go away. What? What's going on? I can't control them. There's some symbolism in there. You mean my wings, don't you? Yes, well, clearly you have issues. <laughs> well, you would too if your father slapped a pair on your back, took away your devil face, took away who you are. Who you are? He's not as powerful as he thinks. Then how are you going to Fair. do that? Yeah, how? Quite defying him. Okay. And then to remove <laughs> Pierce's immortal curse so he can finally die. There's no easy fix for a lack of ideas. No? No. You just have to be patient. You never know when or where inspiration will strike. You're being completely unhelpful today. <laughs> I feel like all of their sessions end like that. Um, <clears throat> listen, about tonight, I'm gonna have to... No! No! You better not be canceling on me again. What if you weren't a responsible adult? Just this once. <laughs> Come on. Chloe, can we do a neon party rain check? Decker, one of these days, you're going to realize what you've been missing. So cute on you. This is the longest you've ever gone without talking, ever. Is something on your mind? Have you ever just ran out of ideas when working a particularly difficult case? No, I mean, before I came along, of course. <laughs> right. <laughs> um... Her victim's name is Kathleen Pike, 33. She's the author of a best-selling futuristic YA series called Us 3001. She was found with her head bashed in by her own vintage typewriter. The irony is a little on the nose, or on the <laughs> head, should I say? That's melted ice cream anyway. It looks like our victim was about to dig in last night when someone showed up and rewrote her dessert menu uh, with that typewriter. Such a shame. Real wounds over here, though. Your head is mostly empty. Huh? Exactly. And you managed to do this <laughs> improv thing. How do you come up with stuff on the spot like that? Well, the first rule of improv is yes and. Yes and what? You agree with whatever's being said, yes. And then you say the first thing that comes to your mind, and. That makes no sense. There's only ever one hard copy since she does all her writing on that typewriter. Yes, and all her dying on that typewriter as well, it seems. Do you know anyone who would have done this to her? Any known enemies? <clears throat> no, Kathleen was extremely well-liked. Yeah, I don't see. Yes, and with their boobs. Like after you did Hot Top High School Detective. Oh, uh-huh. You don't think this could be my fault, do you? Why? Someone who wanted to read the book first? Yes, and someone who wanted to tell her that robot rebellions can be more dull and derivative. What is with all this yes and stuff? That's just some improv thing I was hoping would knock me out of my idea dry spell. But you're literally just saying what you would normally say with the words yes and in front of it. Yes, and it's clearly not working. This is stupid, Daniel. I did a dry spell, just like Kathleen. We need to find him. The killer. You mean we need to find the killer. Exactly. So they can hand over that book. <laughs> it's always about him. <laughs> he always has a problem and he has to fix it. I thought y'all weren't doing this. No, I'm sure she's fine, busy, hunting bounties and all. Maybe. But <laughs> I can check on her if that'll make you feel better. Really? This is so millions of copies. Tongueless kissing and stealing liquor from the fairies. <laughs> Where's the sex? The drugs? Someone who goes by the name of Ashley 3001 Fan. That was some pretty heated 
online arguments with Kathleen. Apparently, she wasn't too happy the book was taking so long to be completed. After Kathleen publicly berated her, Ashley went completely offline. I think Ashley was so humiliated by her hero that she wanted revenge. It's possible. Well, let's hope so, because I need to find that book. Killer. The book killer. The book killer? I know you mean book. I did. <laughs> Would you mind telling her that I stopped by, please? Sure. Thanks. Nice work, Trix. Damn. Why don't you want to see him? I'm going to see his nights. Mommy says that sometimes people are just scared to tell the truth. Maybe they need a little help. That's not a bad idea. Ashley could be one of these three. Yes, they do seem like the insipid YA type. Uh, Scooping frozen treats for others day in, day out seems even more boring. Detective Decker, LAPD. I'd like to ask you also. Freeze! <laughs> Freeze, good one. <laughs> Please. You're not Ashley? No, I'm Ashley. Ashley's a man. Yeah, I'm a man. And I'm the manager. What's going on? Well, what's going on, Ashley, is you need to give me that book. Otherwise, I'll show you the true meaning of you scream for ice cream. <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. Kathleen's dead? Very. And she was the greatest writer of our generation. What? Her books were about high school drama. What could a man of your age possibly find great about them? And high school was the best time of my life. Reading 3001 makes me feel like I'm 16 again. You're a writer. Yeah, man. I've written like tons of class of 3001 fan fiction. <laughs> Can't imagine that Kathleen was too pleased. Good old fan Kathleen fiction. liked my writing. Be more authentic. You know, get back to our original inspiration. That is completely meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was the original inspiration? Oh. You guys don't know. The characters in Kathleen's books are based on real people. And all of her stories were taken from her real life at West Side High, right here in L.A. Huh. Max, Jessica, tell me, what do you do when you run out of ideas? Oh, I never run out of ideas. I've got way too many. My problem is how to choose. Well, I haven't had a, a block So this author exposed all these people's dirty laundry? Sounds like motive to me. Well, the editor's tweet announcing another book, then maybe one of them killed her to make sure it didn't come out. Oh. That's fair. That's fair. The main characters from the class of 3001. If the book's going to reveal any secrets, it's theirs. These are our suspects. We don't have any leverage. Why would they admit to anything? Well, according to superfan Ashley, Kathleen was rushing to get her book done in time to announce it at a high school reunion, which is tomorrow night. Well, all our suspects are in town to attend. And when I stalked Kathleen's classmates online, Todd was the only one with zero social media presence. Lucifer, you could go as Todd. <laughs> yeah, no, no, seriously, look, it looks just like you. Well, it's definitely not legal to distract Todd with, say, a bounty hunter. If anyone needs me, I'm going to be in my office, not hearing the plan. Okay, great. Are you going to call Maze? Gladly. We'll see and research our suspects. Definitely no boyfriend. Really? Yep, so single. So, so single. Oh, in that case, I should totally set you up. Really don't have to do Please, that. when I want to. <laughs> what are best friends for? I know, it's just me and blind dates. How about tomorrow night? Oh, this is so bad. It's morning. I'm gonna miss the bus. What? I've, I've, uh, I've been up all night? Come on. Come on, get... You've been get, up get, all get, night? Get, where's the... Max and Isabel, two of our suspects. Ah, ah, the prom king and the sex pop. Oh, Lucifer, don't judge. There's so much more to these people than their stereotypes suggest. Damn. Okay. Okay. It's just... Uh... You're being serious? Yeah, they're all here. And one of them is most likely a killer. So we can question the suspects. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. What is happening? Amenadu, what are you doing here? Maze invited me. I thought you wanted to talk after I stopped by yesterday. Maze is setting me up on a blind date. Linda. This is Todd. Your date. Hello. 
This is a uh, blue lobelia. Native Americans use them to treat constipation. I should have thought of this. But what are you two doing here? Double date. Isn't this great? Do you have a British accent? Well, I've had many accents oh. over the years, but this one is clearly the best. <laughs> You're so funny and so hot. Damn. I know. Uh, but I need to ask you a few questions. Sure. Let's catch up. Can you believe Kathleen's coming out with another book? Oh. I believe it. Man, those books ruined our lives. I had to move to Maine. Do you know what was in her last book? What sparked her final idea? Does Isabel actually get pregnant? Uh, who are you again? Damn. What were you doing two nights ago? Uh, we were just at home doing a facial. I was with Tristan, I think. I mean, by the time I flew in, it was really late. You're hiding something. And I think I know what. It's because you were with Bo and you didn't want Isabel to find out. But, like, who cares what Isabel thinks, especially after what she did to you in chemistry class? So, where were you two nights ago? Let's go talk some more a little quieter. Right. Yeah, talk. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh. You two have so much in common. This is so Yeah. Weird. Melinda, you're a therapist. It's more common than people think. You're lovely. I'm so glad she convinced me to skip my reunion for this. <laughs> Most serial killers wet the bed. I smell a love connection, don't you? Let's crank this date up a notch. <laughs> Waiter. So, Todd, any hobbies? I make my own toothpaste. I told you, man, I don't, I don't remember where I was. Oh! Tell me the truth now. Okay, a couple nights ago, we all broke into the school pool. You know, just a little party before the party, you know? But why is that a secret? Because we didn't invite everyone. So what you're saying is you all have the same alibi? Oh, wasting our time here. Where's the detective? I dig you, Chloe. You're different. You see the one? Too bad you didn't go to high school with us. What are you doing? Who is that? Um... We're talking. And what do you care? You cheated on Max with Tristan. That was 15 years ago. Damn. Actually, I am still kind of right. pissed about that. I read 3001. It showed me how much you really loved me. You know, sometimes I think about getting back together. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm not down either. <laughs> Oh, so you were sleeping with Emily, weren't you? And then you bring this rando in here, too? Killed? What? Detective, I have discovered that they all have the same alibi. They broke onto the campus two nights ago and had a party by the pool, didn't you? Hmm? So, Kathleen's killer, not here. Sorry we didn't invite you, Todd, but uh, you're not mad, right? You were hanging out with Kathleen anyway. What? Todd was hanging out with Kathleen two nights ago? Yeah, that's what he oh said in the email. Oh, my I did. God. What? He was an awesome math tutor, now he helps me with my taxes. Detective, I think I'm the killer. <laughs> what motive would Todd have to kill Kathleen? He's not even in the books. What, exactly. Odd Bob Todd's probably tired of being left out. Oh, I should have thought of that. Yes, you should have. Someone was making the case all about themselves. I didn't even get to go to my own prom. It's ridiculous. I, don't know. I didn't go to my prom. No, no regrets. I'm stupid. You know, don't you? And you're torturing us. Amenadiel, is this the divine purpose your father said you're here for? Yes. So you can <laughs> bang some selfish human. Selfish? Everyone's problems. So yeah, for once, I put myself first and did what makes me happy. So soon. Or torture me. Or better yet, why don't you just skewer me with one of your knives? But before you oh, she's do, going off. know that this wasn't some fling, but 100% real. That's fair. Y'all weren't even that close. Y'all hey, my... were kind of close. <laughs> she wanted to discuss the final installment of her series with me. What if she well, killed why herself? Why talk about that with you? You're not even in the books. Yeah, I was surprised too. 
Turns out not only was she going to include me in the final book, that sounded beautiful and boring. And not at all like the action-packed robot ending that the editor told us about. That's not a theory, bro. It's the editor. Mr. Green. Hi, uh, Detective Decker, LAPD. So she never mentioned uh, a fanfic writer named Ashley Collins. He's a, a manager at an ice cream shop with the name Scoop Science. Actually, yeah, Kathleen did mention some sort of overeager fan who invented some special flavor for her. Kind of creeped her out. Hello, Vincent. Hello, Ashley. Sorry to disappoint. You wouldn't want to wait another second for it either. But once you got it, you didn't like what you read, did you? I was horrified. She ended this series in the most boring way possible. <laughs> and you were worried about the sales. We lose millions without the right ending. You knew that you couldn't publish Ashley's ending as hers. So you came here to tie up the one. She put stand. the gun down. Now tell me, Vincent. Kathleen's not. I'm surprised she's letting Where him go it? back I and don't forth. Have it. I destroyed it. What? I couldn't let anybody read that pathetic joke of an ending. But how did she fix her block? I don't know. She's an inspiration king when she realized she couldn't go back and change what she'd done. But that doesn't help me at all. It's for stop. But I'm never going to figure out how to... Damn. Poor guy. He just wanted to read the book. I thought you and Todd really made a connection. Great. Okay, so I've been thinking. Yeah. A lot. I knew what we were doing was going to hurt her, and I did it anyway. That's how much I wanted to be with you, Amenity. I can't be with you anymore. Damn. Not when it does this to her. That's that's good though. That's that's a good thing. You know, it's not fair for her to take this away from us. I don't expect you to understand. It's a tough I thing to do. Person. I mean, you're kind of hurting. You're hurting somebody. It's just not who I am. The good detective? Hmm. Well, I like our partnership much better when you do all the work and I'm the fun, irresponsible one. Oh, yeah. I did get a little carried away at that reunion. <laughs> <laughs> That's the switch. <laughs> I like being the responsible adult. Right. So you no longer desire any of that high school poppycock? <sighs> no. <laughs> well then, I guess what they want in this. <gasps> oh, are you gonna do that? Oh. Are you... That's so sweet. Detective. That's so kind. Will you go to the prom with me? <laughs> That's so nice. It's a thoughtful kind of thing. Oh, I see the place looks better. Is this a dream? You never found that inspiration that you were looking for. Okay, I don't think it's just. You ever going to tell me what it is you're trying to solve? Uh, it's, it's complicated. The lieutenant's yeah. death. Tell me anyhow. Well, a friend of mine, and I want to break that curse. So my father is not as powerful as he thinks. That he can't control him. Or me. But maybe I can, Detective. You're a genius. <laughs> Thanks. You've just given me my idea. All I need to do is go back and undo the reason it exists in the first place. Oh. <laughs> what? You. Can you do that? Funny, solid episode. I'll see y'all next time.